What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hello. And our actual lawyer, Pridge. Good evening. We are here to play a video game. <laughs> what was I doing? I don't know what yeah. I was thinking about. <laughs> If you like this show, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash team every ah. Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If not, no worries. The edited versions go up on Monday and Tuesday following. Edited. Uh, and if you'd like to, to interact with us, join over on our Discord, uh, which there will be linked to down below. And uh, you can see all the art as people post it in real time and interact with a bunch of other Ace Attorney nerds, ourselves included. So we're excited for that. Thank you for hyping me up on that. It was really good, Wes. Yeah, no, I was I was giving you the background. Uh, folks, before we get into the actual video game tonight, Pridge is going to regale us with yet another Ohio bar exam question. It's been a while, <laughs> but we are excited to return to Anytown, Ohio. So, Pridge, <laughs> please give us that bar exam question. Never thought I'd find it, but I'm giving you guys a, co a contracts question. Whoa. Oh, All right. Very important first sentence, this one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bob, an Anytown, Ohio college student, was dating three women. Fucking yeah, Damn. Bob. Damn. Hell yeah, Bob. <laughs> I mean, if, if they consent, then hell yeah. Mary, Sarah, and Jane. He had run up a significant credit card debt and needed money to reduce it. He asked his sister Carol for a loan of two thousand dollars. Oh fuck! He's like, I'm sorry. I have I have three girlfriends and I pay for everything. Please <laughs> give me money. Carol was convinced that the girlfriend Mary was the source of Bob's money problems. She told <laughs> Bob. She told Bob she would give him the money and that he would not have to pay it back on the condition that he agree never to wed Mary. Bob agreed, and Carol gave him two thousand dollars. Never to Damn. wed, though. You could have. Okay, sure, <laughs> sure. He's like, "That's fine. I got two other ones waiting in the wings. That's cool." Also, wondering, two, Damn, Bob. two shy shy boys says Bob has three weed smoking girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh so much. Wondering whether she had made a wise decision, Carol consulted <laughs> Alex an acquaintance she believed was versed in the law because he had represented himself in a number of lawsuits. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She knew that Alex is not a licensed lawyer anywhere and that in Ohio, one must be licensed before being able to practice law. Carol paid Alex $200 to advise her on whether the agreement she had with Bob is enforceable. She has heard <laughs> nothing from Alex and he has not returned her phone calls. Oh. Damn, Carol's just giving out money. A few weeks later, Bob called, called Carol again and asked her for more money. Of course. Uh-oh. Bob told her he needed 1500 to pay off the balance of his credit card debt. Uh -huh. He said he needed an additional 1500 because he had an opportunity to buy an herbal concoction he said was a proven aid to study and memory retention. Okay. He was All sure right, he Bob. could. He was sure he could sell this to his fellow students at a profit. He promised he would use those profits to pay off the entire three thousand. In fact, Bob knew, but did not tell Carol. The substance he was going to buy and sell to his fellow students <gasps> was an illegal drug. Oh shit! I knew it. Carol lent him three thousand dollars, and Bob signed an agreement that set out the two purposes for the loan and promised to pay it back in two weeks. <laughs> Bob used fifteen hundred to pay off the balance of his credit card debt. Uh -huh. Bob called Dealer, the person who had offered him the herbal concoction, and arranged a meeting. Uh -huh. They met in a back alley near the campus. Dealer said he needed 1500 to acquire the herbal concoction, which he would deliver to Bob the next day. Bob gave Dealer the 1500 but Dealer nice. never delivered the concoction. Uh... Damn. Then just completely jumping train of thought, Bob and Mary got married. Son of a bitch, Bob. Hey, you had one no, rule. Bob. Bob then told Carol that he, had mar that he had married Mary and that his opportunity to buy the herbal concoction had fallen through. 
so he cannot repay the $3,000 loan. Jesus, Bob. (laughs) In a suit for breach of contract, can Carol recover from Bob any or all of the $5,000 he got from her? No. Can, Can Carol recover from Alex the $200 she paid him for legal advice? No. And can Bob and can Bob recover the fifteen hundred he paid dealer? No. The, these are the three questions, but the but the question does not ask the most important secret fourth question. <laughs> and I told you guys to remember this. Bob is what dating three girls. What the fuck did dating three women have anything to do with this question? <laughs> You're Sarah right. and what Jay the fuck? Never appear again. <laughs> Why were there two other girls? And we got I names read this for them. And, I and they didn't lost did my mind. Because I'm like, wait, why was that fact established if it is in no way relevant to the because, rest of this question? Because they want you to know that Bob fucks. Sarah and Jane never appear in this question. I think the person I think the person that wrote the question was trying to be like, I'm gonna, my name's Bob, and I'm gonna make myself look super cool. It's like he wrote this fact, then forgot about it in the remaining <laughs> paragraph because the, it, it doesn't change anything. That fact does not change. He could have oh easily been God. in debt with just one girlfriend. But the oh. question starts out with he's three, he's dated oh. three women, he gives them all names, and that's the end of two of them's importance. Nothing. Oh God. Never relevant. Oh God. A complete it, it, and total red herring. But and I honestly, swear I read this. I swear I read this question three times to make sure I didn't miss Sarah and Jay being <laughs> questioned somewhere. I can't not. imagine. I can't imagine the question not having that though. After reading it, it's a necessary plot point. If it wasn't in there, it would change the context of everything. I can't get over this damn question. Oh, yeah, it, uh, especially funny. when we have so many bar exam questions that are just like homeowner and students it's like no nah, here, here are names to girlfriends that bob has that you don't see <laughs> oh, oh god well i say no to all three uh the only one that i could see would be bob being able to get the 1500 back from dealer but even then he's still engaging in illegal like buying and selling of drugs so He's right. going to jail for that, too. All right, so here's how it starts. First, got to look at the 2000 for the Don't Marry Mary. Mm-hmm. Um, so what, um, what a contract needs to exist is offer and acceptance mm-hmm. and then consideration. Okay. And consideration is essentially just the bargain for exchange. It's the two uh-huh. things the people are agreeing to trade. Uh-huh. Now, on the surface, being told not to marry someone doesn't seem like consideration because you're not doing something. Uh Uh-huh. Right. But actually, the the ability to refrain from doing something you have a legal ability to do is valid consideration. Mm. So paying someone $2,000 for their promise to not marry someone is enforceable consideration. No shit. Damn. Yes. Uh, Would there so need the, to be some sort of contract written up? Or was there one well, that I missed it? Well, that's the thing. They don't mention if this was an oral or written agreement. Yeah. Because right. the statute of frauds requires uh, contracts. Basically, the statute of frauds determines when oral contracts can be enforceable. And without, uh-huh. going, through every, without going through everything, a contract for over $500 needs to be in writing for it to be enforceable. Okay. Um, so... If if they wrote this down in any way, shape, or form, Carol can actually get the two thousand back. Not that Bob yeah. has any money to pay her, yeah. But Carol okay. can sue him for those two thousand. Okay. Because, but if it, but if it was oral, then no. nice. Okay. okay. Uh, Fuck you. That joke sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of it. Damn it. Um. Now, the second one is Carol and Alex. Sorry, choking on something. Um, <laughs> he, he wasn't a lawyer, right? He wasn't he was officially not a licensed. lawyer, but she was really only paying him for advice. This uh-huh. one's hard to go because it's not like he misrepresented himself as a lawyer. She knew he wasn't, and but she wasn't see- asking him to represent him. She just asked him for advice. You know, at first I was going to say, okay, Bob is bad with money. But after this, I think Carol's bad with money and deserves to be punished for it as well. Yeah. 
So, again, I... And this one wouldn't even need to be in writing because it's only for $200. Uh So, assuming... Uh So, given the fact that she knows he's not a lawyer and he's not holding himself out to be, paying someone $200 for assistance on something... Is an enforce could be an enforceable contract with enforceable consideration. So this one could also actually be enforced. Interesting. And that one wouldn't need a contract written out. Uh, it's under five hundred dollars and could be completed within a year. Wow. That's another okay. weird rule about contract that can't be completed within a year. That's so, wild. So, so Pridge, you're telling me that the two guys in elementary school that I paid twenty bucks to give me skateboard lessons and then never did, <laughs> I could get that money back. <laughs> Statue of limitations has probably run, unfortunately, but if you Damn were more on the ball, you could have you could have taken them all the way to small claims court. Damn. Fuck yes. All Damn it, I'm so mad. Small claims courts. I'd never even I never even learned to kick flip or Ollie. Damn. Damn. Fuck. Such injustice. That's right? Hilarious. Okay. Um, so next comes down to the other three thousand that Bob got from Carol. Um, so fifteen hundred is to pay off credit card debt, and fifteen hundred is to buy an herbal concoction. Uh-huh. So asking, for, so asking for fifteen hundred to pay off your credit card debt isn't consideration because you're just asking for money. Uh-huh. But he does right. promise to pay it back, which technically creates a three thousand for three thousand exchange. Mm-hmm. The only problem here, and this is also going to cover the final question, Bob and Dealer. Mm-hmm. If a contract is for the purchase of something illegal, it's unenforceable on its face. Uh-huh. So the fact that okay. he knew he was going to use that money to buy illegal drugs probably renders... Actually, just the fact that he's lying about it probably renders it unenforceable on its own with or without, right. you know, not even taking into account writing or anything because he lied about what he was using it for. Interesting. Uh-huh. And then that's going to carry down to, no, Bob can't recover the drug money he gave to dealer because... The it court really doesn't. Is. The court doesn't enforce the, the. The court does not enforce the oral contract of drug dealing. Of, of herbal <laughs> concoction dealing. Of herbal concoction slash drug dealing. <laughs> so sorry. So if you pay your deal, you know that forty for some back alley weed, and he doesn't give it to you, can't take him to court for that. Your SOL. Back alley Damn weed. It. Some of that. <laughs> some of that dank push. <laughs> then, yo, check out this dank concoction. This dank herbal concoction. <laughs> this green tea I've got here. Hey, hey nice. Most man. importantly, whatever happened to Sarah and Jane? For real. For real. Um, yeah, but if he doesn't pay up, you can totally sick the cops on that guy. Get him. And then you get in trouble for both of trying to buy the drugs. Yeah. Shit. Anyways, this isn't important. Let's play the video game. <laughs> The Unbreakable Speckled Band. Oh a boy! Boat. Oh boy! We're on a boat. Hey, that's why the back. That's why the background's insert, different. Hey. Insert Lonely Islands so joke. That small dark room. Jones and I waited with bated breath. Waiting and baiting. There came from the ventilator a hiss and a soft, Wait and almost bait. growl-like sound. <laughs> Suddenly, Shom sprang into action, lashing furiously with his cane at a point in the darkness. You see it, Wilson? He yelled, his tense voice reverberating through the air. I raised my dark lantern shutter, and the room slowly came into view. Shomes was staring intently at one particular corner when he started whispering to me. The victim's most perplexing final words. The speckled band. I believe this is the terrible coil to which she referred, Wilson. In front of us was an enormous oh. its fangs bare. It's, sna- it's, it's a snack. Like. It's a snack. It's a snack. I'm a I'm a snack. I'm a, I'm a slithery little snack. <laughs> so okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, was that actual text from a Herlock from a Sherlock Holmes book that they just changed the name? If to? it's, it, I'm if sure it's, they could it's probably that. not verbatim. I'm sure it's not verbatim, but it's actually very close. Uh, because, oh wait, well we'll watch this. Because, because so, actually, let us unravel this mystery. Yeah. Led to this curious murder. Pray do excuse me. 
The cabin door was bolted from the inside when the man was killed. No marks to suggest the bolt was tampered with in any way. So, this would appear to be a locked room mystery. Locked room. In his final oh, moment, shit. Dying message. message on the floor. Hmm. Leon. Almost Says Maya Faye. From this upset <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Look at the what? back of the floorboard. It's a receipt. Oh, the victim was a Russian man then. And the letters are well formed. Suggesting he was compass mentis at the time. Mm -hmm. This is a most extraordinary script. And evidently not penned by the same hand as this message. In fact, I deduce it was written by someone of a different nationality. These are moon Star Wars runes. caster guns. This oh, wow. that was a good reference. Just <laughs> prior to the incident, by the victim Thanks, himself, man. I would venture. Well. What have we here? <laughs> Who are you? And what do you think you're doing here? Da, da! No one must touch before maritime police come. We must wait! Shh. That won't be necessary. You see, in less than five seconds from now, I will reveal the killer to you. What? <laughs> don't be absurd. This is murder. I need cabin locked from inside. Ah, yes, the locked room. But that mystery is paper thin. Ah, I like, like that paper. The culprit is in there. <clears throat> who, who are you? And where have you come <laughs> from? Obviously, Hosanaga. <laughs> uh huh. Sultan Detective, the only one in the world. Herlock Sholmes. I presume you must have heard of me. <laughs> you smug little bastard. Hell ah. yeah. He's Anime. so cool. <laughs> Anime Sherlock, so cool. Anime, everybody. Uh but yeah, so I don't think I don't think that, that was verbatim from the Speckled Band, gotcha. but it was probably it's actually very close because the climax of the case is there in a dark room in a mansion. A and <clears throat> it's 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 actually a very tense scene where they're waiting for a sound and sherlock's like don't breathe don't make any noise because if you do then you might die <laughs> and so they're just sitting there in a dark room that's pitch black and watson even writes that he can't even see his hand in front of his face and then mm. they hear like a little like hissing sound mm. and as soon as they do holmes is like it's a snake light the lantern quick and then he starts batting at something uh so that's that's very close to what it was in the book, and there's some other stuff that happens later on, but I'll get to that when there's some other similarities in the case. I can. <clears throat> Let's go. I'm assuming this is Rinosuke. Yes. Oh, my head is throbbing. What's going on? Something's not right here. There's trouble in the air. I shouldn't have had that herbal concoction last <laughs> night. <laughs> Too many margaritas with Kazuma. <laughs> at the at the ship chilies. <laughs> oh shit, we can't say chilies anymore. Wow, we're, we're, that the was the last game. Us. That was two games yeah. ago. Longhorn Steakhouse? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. We sent for Longhorn. Wait, wait, now. wait. This that's this right. this episode we're at sea, so maybe it should be red lobster. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's okay, a good point. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, we si we're 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 sipping for Red Lobster today, okay, everybody. Okay. Today's episode is sponsored by Red Lobster. Freeway Knight says Long John Silver's. We can do better. We can do Red Lobster. We can. We deserve better than Long John. Silver's. <laughs> we do deserve better. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you know what? If we're feeling really fancy, we can make it Bonefish. Ooh, I don't. Oh. Like, let, let's stay within our means. All right. <laughs> okay, that's fair. We're we're not an actual we're, lawyer we're yet. We're better. We're better than Long John Silver's, but I don't know if we're on boat fish yeah, level yet. Fair, I think fair. Red Lobster's a happy medium for us. <laughs> uh, Taco Sensei just uh, said, "Why can't they use chilies anymore?" Uh, because I emailed Chili's and they said no. <laughs> they won't sponsor us. So which we're is not giving so unreasonable of them. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I can't move. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? 
What did me and Cosmo do last night? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is the, this is turning into the hangover he acts, at sea. He acts so so nice and proper, but he's into some real kinky shit. <laughs> Why am I in handcuffs? Uh oh, I think I remember who this, who this is. Hmm. So you wake up now, hmm? Bleh. We had to drag you out of the wardrobe. Oh, it was... <laughs> we were in the fucking wardrobe. Okay, great. Uh -huh. I do not believe how you could not wake up. You are true cold-blooded man. <laughs> you... Uh, you found me then. Duh. We found you. And now you pay. Criminal! <laughs> They're like, he's Russian. You can know because we put a K in criminal. Hey. <laughs> also, uh, people are pointing out that Rianosuke was found in the closet. <laughs> hey, hey. low-hanging fruit. <laughs> we had to, we had to drag him out. How long are you hiding in that tiny wardrobe? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Now you have been found. It is time to admit your crimes. With a C. Unless you want to find out how cold the ocean is, hmm? Is that how maritime justice works? They just throw you over yeah, the what? No, no, I I'll tell you everything. You're right, I did take the herbal concoction. <laughs> There's only one thing I'd like to know from you. Uh, isn't that... Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? Uh, Miss Susato! Wait, what did you just say? Take his life? Hey, we're being charged with murder again. Oh, are we fucking Maya? Twice in first and second case, dang. Brutal. Um, where, where is he? Where's Kazuma? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. <sighs> Don't tell me he's the one that died. You pretend you do not know. You are wolf and sheep's pelt. <laughs> okay. You are the killer. Do not try to make excuses. What? Kazuma Sama was. Kazuma Sama's body was discovered not long ago. No! No! Katana boyfriend, why? Ugh. It Ka makes me so sad! Katana boyfriend! He's, he's the best boy and we don't even get to go on fun British dates with him! Oh. We didn't get to paint the town red with him! No, we didn't! That we was painted the, the boat thing. red with his blood! <laughs> God wow. damn, we killed him! Fuck. Caught me again, ah. Susato. God damn it, I'm so upset. I'm so angry! Ah. <sighs> Here, in this very cabin, that was bolted shut from the inside. His... His... body... Please... Do not try to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep! Cosmos... Dead... But... He can't be... <sighs> and these handcuffs... Surely don't think I... I have to know. Why did you take Kazuma Sama's life? I'm really fucking... Answer me! Please! No. No! No! It's so sad! Also, I'm Damn really it. fucking shocked that Susato would actually suspect us. I'm, like, pretty hurt by that. <sighs> Damn Kazuma. it, Kazuma! You're the best- you're the best character! You're the best! Around. You're the best! Around. And nothing's gonna ever keep you down! Only getting murder's gonna keep you down! <laughs> God damn it. It was just two short weeks ago.
Are you sure about this? Won't we get in trouble? <laughs> Don't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else could you come to England with me to study? It was really something else when they brought your luggage here in here earlier, though. The way that Russian crewman just tossed your travelling case onto the floor. So strong. I thought I was going to die! And then he threw it on the ground! <laughs> yes, I still can't quite believe that. I really didn't think you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. <laughs> you won't you believe how much junk you man than fit you in look. this trunk. Hey. Damn! Also, Cosmos. damn, Cosmos. Cosmos into, uh, he's obviously a dom. Yes. Hey! Honestly, I, I thought I'd broken every bone in my body! Well, it's about 50 days until we dock in Great Britain. God damn, can you imagine? Can you imagine? That's a hell of a long trip. 50 days to get somewhere? Yeah, fucking... At this point, Around the World in 80 Days has already existed. You can't get from Japan to England in 50? Come on. <laughs> Come on. What are you doing? Russia, I guess? <laughs> Not rushing around, I'll tell you that. Hey! That was good. Chat, you don't need to give him mess for that. I'll give, I'll give him a pass on that one. I thought that was pretty lackluster, but sure. <clears throat> I'll, I'll take it. But if you confine yourself to my cabin here, I don't expect anyone will discover you. Uh, I hope not. I get the feeling those Russians wouldn't be very forgiving of a stowaway. They're a sturdy bunch, that's for sure. What I want to know is, why do we need to keep it a secret from the young lady? From our faithful judicial assistant, Mikotaba, you mean? From your close friend. More to the point, uh, surely we could confi confide in her, couldn't we? I don't believe she'd give me away. No, but if she knew we'd what she, if, she, if she knew what we'd done, that would make her guilty by association. <laughs> That's a. It's best that only you and I know about this. Cosmo, why do you want to keep us a secret? Hey man, he loves you so much he wants to smuggle you <clears throat> to a different continent. <laughs> That's commitment. <laughs> I suppose so. Anyway. It's about the it's about the time that the steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I know it's cramped, but you'd better get in there, I think. It won't be for long. And anyway, compared to hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be a breeze. Yes, but what if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason? Then I'll be in for it. Oh, don't worry. That leads to Narnia. <laughs> They hide an Aslan for me. Fucking, you can fucking talk. Reno's shows up in one of our webcams. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Whoa! Good callback. I forgot about that. <laughs> that we should make that the next uh, sub donation goal. Is cosplays from this game? Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say what cosplays from Chronicles of Narnia. <laughs> I, I call Mr. Actually, <laughs> damn it, I want to be Mr. Tumnus. You know what? Let's just make it Mr. Tumnus cosplay. We're all Tumnus. All three of us? Everyone yes. has Mr. Tumnus. In oh infinite God. Tumnus. <laughs> the the triumvirate. No, that doesn't work. Fuck. <laughs> Unlimited James, Tumnus James works. James McAvoy well before he got super famous. That's James McAvoy? No. Oh, it yeah. is. No shit. Mr. Yeah. Thomas is Professor X. No <laughs> fucking shit. Wow. Yeah, it's really funny how young he looks. But that's wow. a yeah, see, James McAvoy. It's actually, it's actually Professor X's origin story because when he came <laughs> out of Narnia, he didn't have his goat legs anymore. So that he had psychic... he lost feeling in it. He had the ability <laughs> to read <revive. laughs> Oh my god. Oh uh, uh, shit. God. Vic the Foxy Game. My name, also my name is. My Nine. name is Charles Tumnus Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that that joke has nothing to do with Ace Attorney, but I'm going to make a stupid Photoshop for that now. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you write keep out or something on this piece of paper? You're fucking kidding me. That is the dumbest thing ever, and the fact that that's what they actually did makes me so angry. 
to write <laughs> keep out on a closet door if you weren't hiding something in there. And also writing keep out in Japanese when you know the sailors on the boat are fucking Russian. What? Hey, hey, they're not going to be rushing around, are they? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Then I can stick it over the wardrobe doors once you're inside. I don't know. We've only been at sea for about 15 days. How can this have... How can this have happened? We were supposed to be going on this adventure to England. Together! I know! <laughs> now look what's happened. We leave you at the next port. Stay quiet until then. Don't make more trouble for yourself. Also, the idea that they just leave a, a somebody they assume is a murderer at a port and, like, not lock them up. Just, like, drop. Oh, we found five <laughs> murderers gonna on our boat. We're just, gonna keep, we're just kicking you out. <laughs> hey, well, welcome to, to, to Cape Town. <laughs> murderer. No, I'm not a murderer. Again. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Da, you said before, you said you admit everything about your crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did stow away on the ship, but murdering my best friend? No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. Um, Susato-san. Please, tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. But there is something I would like to ask of you, too. Uh, those eyes. She looks like she's ready to destroy me. And not in the fun way. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> not like Kazuma God did. <laughs> <laughs> no, goddammit. This nightmare is getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try and find out what really happened. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll just go down the line. He, he really has been killed, hasn't he? This isn't just a bad dream. And these handcuffs, they think I did it. They think I'm Kazuma's killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. What do you mean? There's no access to the cabin via the porthole window, and the bolt on the door can't be opened from outside. In other words, after the crime, the culprit couldn't have escaped these four walls. What? Or to put hey, what's it that, uh, what's that vent like thing up there? Think a person could fit in that? <laughs> we're not supposed to. We're not supposed to talk about that yet, Bridge. Hey, think, think a person could fit in that. Looks about like person size, right? <laughs> and you know the convenient cord leading up to it too. Oh, here, here, here comes Penny Nichols to paint over it with duct tape, and we can just tear it down. Later. <laughs> oh God, Cody Hackett's uh, killed Cosmo! Oh my God, Cody Hackett's killed Cosmo! <laughs> hey, it's me, Penny Nichols. Uh, apparently, I'm also timeless, just like me, kids. <laughs> or to put it another way, the culprits can only have been somebody inside this cabin. But the vent. Or do you have some other explanation? Well, if you look at your approximate, like, five, four or five o'clock, I... Mm. Uh, silly, <laughs> silly Pridge, vents can't kill people. Somebody, somebody, uh, Leo says, some, you mean somebody vented sus. I'm like, God damn it, yeah, that's <laughs> no, it. Oh, God damn it. Uh... There's an imposter, and they're venting. <laughs> somebody call me in. <laughs> this is impossible. How did he die then? What happened exactly? Are you still going to deny the charge? Even despite the circumstances? Please, Susato-san! You have to tell me! The cause of death is still undetermined. Hurrah, hurrah, right? <laughs> oh no! They don't know how he died. But what we do know is that his pelvis was shattered. <laughs> Jesus God. Christ, Wes! Damn it, Wes! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? 
the ship's doctor is examining the body, but of course, he has no post-mortem analysis experience. I don't suppose we shall learn more until an expert has been consulted at our next port of call. Throw Wes in the horny brig, jeez old Pete. <laughs> the horny brig! <laughs> so, presumably, that means there were no obvious external signs of injury, then? That's true, yes. <clears throat> Can't anyone tell me what, uh, what actually happened here in this cabin? I don't understand it. Why would anyone want to ki kill Kazuma? Presumably that's something you know the answer to better than anyone. Please. Whatever you say, you were here in the cabin after all. Well, yes, I was, but... He would always wake before dawn and do his training first thing in the morning. I was waiting outside his cabin, as I have every day so far on this voyage. But this morning, he did not come. I could sense that he wouldn't. Does that mean he was already dead when Susatu-san arrived at his cabin door, I wonder? I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I started to become worried, so I went to find a member of the crew. The crewmen forced the cabin door open, and we managed to get inside. There was Kazuma Sama, collapsed on the floor. And then he turned into a thin paper man. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and the white tape there now shows exactly where he was found, I suppose. I had no idea anything had happened. I, I must have been asleep in the wardrobe somehow. You think the motion of a bow would move a body around? It's a good Put question. Four like that? Ah. Well, we found him. Pick. We found him there. Then the boat swayed, so we, so we found him slightly to the left. <laughs> then it swayed back and put it overshot. So we found him slightly to the right. <laughs> I wish it wasn't the case, but that's just very hard to believe. This is all very hard to believe for me too. Trust me. Now I've told you everything that I know, so it's my turn to ask you a question. Yes, all right. Uh, my head feels so heavy, it's still throbbing like anything. That's a... That's a really weird phrase. It's throbbing like anything. Why are you even on board this ship, Naruhodo-san? Yeah, you said something before about... You said something before about being a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, yes. I'm afraid that's true. It's two weeks since we left Japan now, and I've been shut up in this cabin the entire time. I had no idea. But how could you have occupied Kazuma-sama's cabin for so long without him noticing? No, no, no! That would have been impossible, obviously. Yes. Of course. Kazuma invited me. He wanted us to go to England together. He, he said that he said they had he said they have much more progressive marriage laws. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since the whole Oscar Wilde thing, they've become a bit more chill about it all. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Uh, the guy who broke the Enigma code still got really fucked over. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alan yep. Turing. Alan Turing, thank you. Yeah, no, no. England was definitely not no, GPT2 no, no. plus friendly no, no, in, no, 19, no, 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 no. in 1900. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Yeah, Leo, Leo no, no, no. in the chat instantly said, what about Turing? Yeah, no, no, no. We, 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 we I jest. We jumped on that one. <laughs> it was a funny joke, but not a historically accurate one. No. Also, uh, <laughs> croissant. Shit, 100 bits saying, Susato, for the love of evidence, Raw, they were on their honeymoon. Oh, I know. He actually asked you. But why? I'm afraid I don't really know the reason myself. Sorry. That's actually a serious line. I don't understand. Kazuma. 
Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? Why go to such extreme lengths to smuggle me to England with you? Seems like it'd be fun. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a chill uh, thing to do. And yeah, we get the fucking cool music too. Look at this boy. It's an idea that's been on my mind ever since the end of the, that incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I? That you ought to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yes, you did say that. But I didn't think you were serious. You have a talent for it. I can assure you of that. But I've never really thought about becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. London is at the spearhead of cultural development, the center of the world in many ways. There can't be any harm in seeing such an important place with your own eyes, can there? Well, no, definitely not. But on a personal level... Yes? Never mind. No! <laughs> if you were to become a lawyer, then... You know, you, you, you could stand opposite of me, we could yell objection at each other, and then come home together. Uh, and talk about the trial, how it went. <laughs> then what? Nothing. Forget it. Motherfucker. Just Stop tell me you broken. love me. You, you vague ass. Kazuma Sama is... He was always saying the same thing. That he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. Perhaps he thought he could do that with you. Uh, yes, maybe. But something's still bothering me a little. The look in his eyes then. It was darker than I've ever seen it before. Oh shit, dark past. Um, Susato-san, I'm sorry that we kept it a secret from you. My stowing away on the ship, I mean. If I know Kazuma-sama, I expect he was trying to protect me, to avoid me becoming guilty by association. That's... that's exactly right, yes. Word perfect, in fact. <clears throat> Shit. Is Susato actually Professor X now? If you're not the culprit, then tell me. What happened last night here in this cabin? Well, what, what, from what time? The thing is... <laughs> I don't really remember. Blackout, Susato. <laughs> Blackout, <laughs> Cosmo brought me something to eat and drink, just like he always did. <laughs> he told me it was an experimental concoction. He told me it was an herbal concoction. Oh, yeah, it was herbal, <laughs> damn it. Then I got myself into that wardrobe over there, just like I always did. After that... He called it... He called it... Tea with Mr. Tumnus. He, he called it she loco. Except <laughs> she is foreign Japanese, I don't know. Nah, I, get, I like that. I like that. I think, right. I think you're right. Okay. Uh, it's either each, she or Yon. Each... Okay. Each knee sign. Yeah, yeah. So it could be she loco or young yeah. loco. <laughs> After that, I. She loco. Fell asleep. Um, well, yes. So deeply that you didn't even stir when Kazuma sama was killed? Um, well, yes. <laughs> she don't believe that at all. <laughs> I know it sounds unbelievable. Really, I do. But it's the truth! If only I'd woken up, then perhaps I wouldn't be in this predicament. For some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Again, that for is that a phrase? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, yeah, throbbing like, yeah. Throbbing like anything? Throbbing like anything. But not, I mean, not everything throbs. But anything does. Okay. <laughs> Can you deny that? <laughs> really? Um, is something wrong? Oh, um, no, it's... Please, forget it. 
Why is everybody what? being vague? But you're not wearing any pants, and we were wondering if you could fix that. <laughs> uh -huh. You have to believe me. I, I didn't do it. I, I really don't want to doubt you. But the trouble is, there is no one else who possibly could have done this. Uh. Kazuma... I don't Gumby. understand. <laughs> Why? Also, what the fuck are you writing? When did you learn Russian? Why did this have to happen? <laughs> Why did this have to happen to me? <laughs> I can't take this. Don't try to go anywhere. <clears throat> You're the perpetrator of this crime. You can't leave. I can't allow that to happen. I'm... Sorry, but Kazuma was killed right under my nose here, and I didn't do anything to stop it. Yes, because he was... I was right above him when I killed him, so he was under my nose. Damn it. Oh, Ra damn it. Susato-san, you got me again. <laughs> and now I'm supposed to just sit around, my hands tied, while whoever did this walks free? Wait, what? Oh, god damn it. No! I can't allow that to happen. Well, what do you propose to do then? I'm going to investigate. I'm going to find out exactly what happened here. I'm going to work out who took Kazuma's life and how and why they did it. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to excuse me. Hiya! Okay, shit. <laughs> oh, that's fucking rad. That's Hell red. Yeah. <laughs> what the? That was a Susato takedown. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with the Maggie kick. <laughs> Even more powerful than the Maggie kick. <laughs> <laughs> the Susato takedown. <laughs>Susato for Smash? <laughs> Obviously. The blanket Susato. says... Susato! The blanket says, girl boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fluttervice subscribed. Thank you very much, Fluttervice. Uh, Su Susato what? What martial art form is that? I'm going to need you to, prov to prove it. Sorry. Man. Prove it? This is, this is where Susato gets so good. I love her. Yes, your innocence. I need evidence. I literally but, said I'm going to investigate. But how am I supposed to... All right, you got me. I just wanted to do the Susato <laughs> takedown. <laughs> <laughs> I have not had a chance to do that since I learned it. <laughs> <laughs> have you forgotten already what you achieved just a few weeks ago? You successfully defended yourself in the court of law. Also, I love that this screen is still upside down. I know. <laughs> I he just hasn't know. gotten up yet. He hasn't gotten up yet. Oh, I see. She's expecting me to present some conclusive evidence. <laughs> I have to get Susato-san to believe me. I'll show her some evidence right now that proves I'm not guilty of this awful crime. <laughs> you better not show me anything wrong or I'll show you the Susato execution. Oh, no. Uh, Croissant also chewed 100 bits saying, Ryanosuke is a bottom in a world of tops, even with Kazuma gone. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I mean, it's it's the paper seal. Yeah. Because if it was, I mean, it proves that he was still in the thing the whole time. Yeah. All right. Yes. <clears throat> exactly. Yes. Tell me, when I was discovered in the wardrobe before, was this piece of paper stuck over the doors? Oh, yes, it was. I remember clearly. I thought so. Cosmo always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there. Just in case the cabin steward or another crew member, crew member decided to look inside. So, naturally, he did the same last night as well. Ah! Yes, of course. The gentleman who discovered you peeled that sign from the wardrobe doors before he opened them. But, if I were truly the culprit, 
I couldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this on the outside of the doors on my own. Yes, that's quite true. Oh, In other oh, words... That's, that's really obvious. Why did none of us think of that? It's impossible <laughs> that I killed Kazuma. That's, like, really fucking obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I, I hope you didn't get some world-renowned detective to tell you that, that, that I was the one who did it. <laughs> that would be really embarrassing for them. I'm sorry, did you use the Susato takedown on your brain? <laughs> <laughs> well, even if you are sprawled hopelessly on the floor, I can see why Kazuma Sama thought so highly of you. Thank you, Susato-san. Uh, also, Yo090 has followed. Thank you very much. Yo. Gayo. Yo. Gayo, Gayo. Gayo. Wordsy. I don't know. Dreaming. Maybe, maybe don't think give of... enough Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. God, I love the, the, Amer the, the four kids intro to One Piece. It's the greatest song of all time. Fuck greatest anime God. intro of all time. <laughs> so dumb. Yo, yo, yo. He took a bite of gum, gum. <laughs> Don't give it up, dreaming. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> now, do you think perhaps you could Susato help me up? <laughs> Susato, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, in light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating in here, at least. Also, is is that Russian guy still in the room this whole time? Like, what what is he up to? He probably is like, that was good, Susato takedown. <laughs> Would you like to join KGB? <laughs> yeah, like, in Japan, <laughs> girl throw you. <laughs> God damn it. Thank we you. Russians could learn from you. <laughs> so you finally believe me. I'm sorry. No. God damn it. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I can't rule out the possibility that you use some sort of conjuring trick to put the sign back in position. I'm a witch! Burn me up the stake! The There's not even spirit mediums in this cave. Like, what? There's not magic. What does she think I am? A magician? <laughs> 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 Maybe in a hundred years, my... My ancestor will adopt a magician, but I'm not one. <laughs> <laughs> For now, I suggest you investigate as thoroughly as possible in here. I'll do the same. All right. Let's get to work, Susato-san. Please don't misunderstand me. I still have my doubts. Oh. Who fucking told you you could call me Susato-san? <laughs> I shall be watching you to make sure you do nothing that might disturb the crime scene. I wouldn't want you using your conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. Right. Well, anyway, I should make a start on investigating in here. Examine everything I can. Kazuma, I swear, I will avenge your death. And damn it. Now I can't show Susato my cup and balls trick I've been working on. <laughs> oh, God. I was about to say something real dumb. <laughs> Any different than literally everything we say? No. Hey, aren't you guys still there, apparently? Just the cup and balls joke with Kazuma. God damn it. All right. God humor, damn it, Zach. Humor me, humor me and I'll immediately look at the vent on the side. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just humor me. I think that's some kind of opening for a ventilator. Just large enough that someone might be able to crawl through and come <laughs> into the room and then get out of the room. <laughs> a, hole th a hole through which fresh air can circulate into the cabin. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, this ventilator, if that's what it is, looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. All right, let's say hypothetically that's a ventilator. No, uh, we're not doing this yet. <laughs> He's not here. <laughs> Alchie can't... Uh, vampire and Alchie can't hurt you. Can't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> vampire and so Alchie Shapiro can't hurt you. <laughs> yes, it would appear to. You're right. Fuck. 
God damn it. Uh, also, uh, Yes Man Master has followed. Thank you, Yes Man Master. But... <laughs> Sorry, Void had just commented, if the ventilators just large enough so that Bruce Willis could get stuck in there and say, God. Hey, come on, come, come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. That's really good. What a good, good. reference. Wow. What a good reference. <laughs> Fucking a diehard reference and... 2021. Thank you, Foyden. Cosmo wrote the ground in Russian. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm just going to Photoshop uh, Ryunosuke saying yippee ki yay right now. Yep. Uh, okay. Got it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Got it. Done. Uh, <laughs> See? That's editing magic right there. That's how long it takes. <laughs> but if its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it could be connected to the outside. <clears throat> Hmm, that's true. Perhaps <clears throat> it's so that rain and spray don't find their way in here when the seas are rough. Or something like that. I suppose. Maybe that's it. Oh, dear, that won't do. Oh, what's the matter, Susato-san? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so focused I forget to look around properly. Oh, uh, yes. That's not good. <laughs> I don't suppose you're as foolish as me in that regard. Are you, Narahoda-san? <clears throat> oh, this is just telling us to look. Uh, well, we already did yeah, that. Yeah, which we know. I'm sure you're careful to look all around using BM. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now, let's investigate all corners of this cabin. Using our BM. <laughs> yes, let's do that. I suppose my field of vision has been rather small until now. What? Good no, thing we... I have B. Good thing I have a BM to help with that. A bacon mayonnaise sandwich. Got him. I don't know. Seigi, the Japanese word for justice. The brush strokes are straight and true, just like Cartwell. He's not. You know, well, I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know about that. They're true, just like Cartwell. The, the last yeah. one, for sure. <laughs> Yes, his calligraphy always was a reflection of his heart. Yet you, can you really look at those characters without feeling shame, knowing who drew them so thoughtfully? Of course I can! I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to? Even though you stowed away on the ship? Okay, yes, I stowed away on the ship. It was a free trip to England, Susato! Wouldn't you England. fucking do that? Maybe Susato sue me. Maybe I could have met Gordon Ramsay. Or the Queen. <laughs> now you're going to bring that up, are you? I can't win. Or Idris Elba. You know, <laughs> Knuckles. Shit. <laughs> you might have heard of him. <laughs> He's going to be playing Knuckles in the upcoming <laughs> Sonic 2 movie. Come on, this is big stuff. Really quick, does the sword look slightly off in like the way this is illustrated, or is it just me? Kind of. I mean, it, lo it looks like it's. It looks like it's. Does it's like it's it's put there to be slightly more noticeable? Yeah. It like, looks. Like it, it looks. It looks. Huge. Yeah. It, it look. It looks like it's been like placed on a separate layer than the rest of the environment. Yeah. It actually, yeah, it actually because... looks like it would go from the floor to like the. The yeah. chest of the iron. Yeah, of the, the, the I Russian think because guy. he's so close to that in the field of vision, it looks like the sword is like his height. Yeah, uh, traveling in a box is also traveling in a box is very funny. Uh, so if we call Rinosuke Ryan when he's stupid, can we call Susato Susan? <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll workshop that. We'll workshop that, but I do like it. <laughs> John Philip Sousa. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's Kazuma-sama's precious sword. He never went anywhere without it. Yes, he was always saying that a Japanese man's katana was his soul. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on this trip. Understandably so. <laughs> I suppose that just shows. I, I suppose that shows just how important important it was to him. No, Sisato, 9-11 hasn't happened yet, so traveling... Jesus Christ! Jesus, what? 
Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, what? Uh, I yes, guess, I am Jesus. Thank you. I guess as a side note, I did, I did, in fact, carry. I was, I was allowed to bring a katana, a replica katana, with me on a plane after 9/11. <laughs> When I was in high Were school, you really? when I was in high school and I went to New York because I was such a Damn. fucking weeb, I went to Chinatown and bought a, a katana and then I got to the airport and was like, how the fuck am I going to be allowed to bring this on the plane? And, and they were just like, yeah, it's cool. Whatever. They're like, we get it. You're a fucking 14 year old. You can bring this. Anyway, also a mim up says Kirare can't melt steel beams, which is such a good joke to me. <laughs> uh, and now he's gone, but I'm not ready to let his spirit go just yet. Okay. Uh. I mean, there's a lot to look at, this, huh? Yeah, I mean, uh, let's, start, let's start with the obvious things on the floor. We have this building, bottle, this thing, and... Yeah. The body out, and the body outline and the writing. What do you think this is? It looks like a piece of broken glassware. Whatever this thing was, it appears to have broken clean in two. The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks like a cute little... Nets Netsuki Netsuki? I don't know. Fastener from a kimono outfit. I'm not sure that I'm not sure that sounds like Kazuma. He wouldn't have secretly carried a cute little trinket like this with around with him, would he? Would he have kept this from me? And the mark beside it. What is it, I wonder? It has a sort of brick like hue. Yes. Yes, you're right. It is the color of brick, isn't it? Even though I don't see anything of the same color anywhere else in the cabin. Uh, we'll look at the outline. Did... Did Kazuma write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. Then I suppose he wrote this message by dipping his finger in the spillage. Poor Kazuma Soma. No doubt he was in terrible pain. It's almost unbearable to imagine it. I suppose he was trying to leave some sort of a clue in his final moments, was he? I'm sorry, partner. But I just can't read your writing. <laughs> Your, your penmanship is terrible. The idea that Ryan doesn't fucking recognize that this is not Japanese <laughs> is so <laughs> embarrassing to me. I I don't she realizes think, at least. I don't think that's Japanese, Naruhoda-san. What? Then, then what language is it? It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. It's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? Uh, what's do going on over mean, here? Uh, yeah, I was going to say do this build ink as oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my dinner from last night. Roast chicken. It was really tasty. Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? But did you eat it on the floor here? <laughs> I'm not a dog, Suzato-san. I ate at a table, of course. Which begs the question of when and how the plate ended up on the floor. Uh, I ate it on the table, on all fours, and with only my mouth. <laughs> but Kazuma-sama didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. So he didn't touch it. Chickens killed my parents. <laughs> which meant all the more for me. Oh no! Does does that mean poor Cosmo Summer spent his last night on Earth with an empty belly? It's just too horrible. Uh, now I suddenly have a guilty conscience and an achy stomach. I mean, did it come with like size or anything that you could have that he could have? Yeah, I mean, what, uh, you know, whatever. That's a very That's large traveling a, case, isn't it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Yes, it carries 
a lot of memories for me. Memories? What do you mean? Well, that's actually how I stowed away on this vessel. I was brought aboard, brought on board inside that case. Ah, yes. I see it says this way up in Japanese. Which, in hindsight, I should have realized the foreign crewman wouldn't be able to read. I was turned over and over and over, and then I was tossed on the floor in here. Oh dear. Being a stowaway isn't as romantic as it sounds. Well, once we got on board... <laughs> it was pretty romantic, let me tell you. Well, it was less painful than a Susato takedown. I like that the game is making this callback. Oh, that's really cool that there's a check mark next to things when you hover over things you've actually examined. So you don't have to ever again. That's amazing. I've investigated thoroughly, but... I can't find anything out of place. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we can't examine. And then you'll well. you'll you'll see like it'll get bolder if you're on something that you can. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, can we do the tablecloth? Uh oh yeah. That would help explain why. There's nothing that. on this table at all. The plate and cutlery are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night, when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still. Uh, no, wait a minute. What is it? That's funny. I... I can't seem to remember anything that... Anything about what happened after dinner at all. So... So then perhaps... You are responsible for what happened to Kazuma-sama. No, no, no! Uh, I'm. This thing has been calling my name ever since. Oh yeah, no, go look for it. Go it's big curious. and red. These are the rules of passage for travel aboard the SS Buria. It says no stowaways and no murder. <laughs> and, uh, Damn it! <laughs> it's essentially a list of requests from the captain to all passengers on board. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. Oh, darn it. Well, I guess I can't keep my hands. These are lethal weapons with the Susato takedown. <laughs> oh, in my I was arsenal. like, where are you? I, I thought you were going for like a pets joke. I yeah, see, I, I was going with pets too. I'm like, what? Like, you give pets with your hands? I, I was very confused. Listen, get on my get on my level. That's fair. Uh, also, Giant Penguin says trivia time. The ship's localized name, Buria, is the Russian word for storm. In the Japanese version, it's called the Alclair. Uh, derived from Arakure, which means rough, wild, or violent. Ooh. Thank you very much for the fun trivia, Giant Penguin. What? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Are you more of a dangerous object or a pet? I mean, I'm... <laughs> I'm obviously a pet. It depends on who you're at. Despite, depends just, on who you're at again. Despite being a, con, accused of murder twice. I mean, fucking look at me. I'm a lover, not a fighter, Susato. <laughs> I, I can't decide. Well, one thing's for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here. Also very curious about this little statue being turned over up here. Yeah, what's this little statue guy? The books have fallen over on the shelf. Look, they've all toppled the same way. And what's this? A statue of some god of the sea, although he's fallen over as well. Yes, it's almost as if the whole shelf has been ransacked and everything's mown down at once. Someone gunned down this entire shelf. I wonder if perhaps it was Kazuma-sama doing his morning sword training, do you think? I seriously doubt it. Then perhaps... It was you, Narahodo-san, in a fit of rage. I wouldn't have bothered leaving the wardrobe just to mess up a few books and a statue. Damn it, she's onto me. <laughs> Could the way these things have been thrown about have anything to do with the case, I wonder? Well, I'll just set everything straight again. I don't like to see a mess. 
You're messing with. You're tampering with the crime scene, Susato. Oh, she did it. She did yeah, it. She tampered with the crime scene. Susan. That's a weird choice. Uh, surprisingly, that's nothing. Examine the Russian guy. Yeah, why not? Perhaps I should see what the Russian crewman makes of the crime scene. Um, excuse me. What? I, I was wondering how it's going. The investigation, I mean. So, how you, how you doing? I'm here often. <laughs> Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes. But it's not true, I see. <laughs> Sorry. The criminal asking investigator for information about his crime? Very funny. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be a joke. He doesn't appear to be laughing either. He's convinced you're guilty. You might have useful information, though. I have to keep trying. So, last night, did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? Ordinary at all. Yet! Of course not! Now back to corner of room and make silent! I say no more to you. Hmm. Did I hit a nerve? Just for a minute there. He seemed a little flustered. Also, I was going to ask, th this game definitely takes place before the Russo-Japanese War, right? Most I likely. I, th I believe so. I, I think that was like, I think that was after World War One, Or it's either that or like in the early 1900s, so it might be around. Oh, 1904 time. to 1905. So, so this we might be around the time that was taking place. Yeah. I mean, we're turn of, so it's either, it's either like around the same time or just before it. Yeah. I'm going to assume it was before, because if it was after, I imagine the Russians would be even more mean. Uh -huh. That's true. Anyways. This is where dear Kazuma Sama would have sat whenever he was writing. London Diary. Poor Kazuma. He didn't even make it to his destination. It looks as though the last entry is incomplete. Which means... What? He was in the middle of writing it when the incident happened. Let's see what it says. It could be a valuable clue. Hiya! Are you... Okay. That's out of the question. What? Kazuma-sama may have departed this world, but you must not read his private thoughts. But... But what if it's something important? Something relevant to the case? I don't have no privacy rights. <sighs> all right, all right. I won't read it. That's Until right. Later, you can Susato suck it. Yeah. Poor Kazuma-sama. I don't like, I, I don't like prying, prying into people's personal matters either. But in this case, isn't the need for clues more important? More like Susato. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> Video game? Uh, who's that? He, he wasn't there a moment ago. As far as I can tell, he looks like he might be European. Oh, hello there. Oh, how did he... You've noticed the man, too, haven't you? How could you fucking not, Ryan? <laughs> what are you talking about, Ryanosuke? What man? <laughs> I've no idea who he is or how he got in here, but he looks suspicious and tall. Suspiciously tall. <laughs> <laughs> Naruhoda-san, don't tell me. Do you really not know who that is? No, I've um, been hiding in this room for the last 15 days. Well, no. I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. There's something very unusual about him. And is he investigating Kazuma's desk, or is he just <laughs> playing on it? I can't tell. Well, in that case, we simply must talk with him. Am I just imagining it? Or does Susanto-san look almost uncontrollably excited? Oh, she's a little fangirl. Mm -hmm. 
by the way, I expect you've noticed already, but just in case, if you press space on people when they're in the crosshairs, you can converse with them. All right, then. I'll get that suspiciously tall gentleman in my sights and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, please do. Okay, you can't simp for him, too, all right? <laughs> all right, let's do the fucking damn thing. Oh, boy. <sighs> oh, boy. Um, excuse me. Excuse me? Do you have a moment? Shh! This is a critical point in my investigation. Maybe I should leave him alone. He seems a little unfriendly. Yes, perhaps that would be for the best. Uh, greetings! I hope I haven't kept you long. Yeah, 